To give more perspective on the matter, I spoke to public affairs analyst Nelson Akujimi about the motorcycle ban and the culture of inconsistency in the implementation of policies in Nigerian governance. If the government has come up with a ban or with a policy, it also builds on any responsible government, you know, to introspect, to do a postmortem of that policy and see how it is achieving its desired end. And where it is not doing that, modifications have to come in. So in this case of the ban on Okada, you recognize that you know, the ban has to be a totally thought out process. The society itself is on ease with what has become the security threats being posed by Okada riders, by Okada as a means of transportation. But, and be that as it may, one expects that whatever policies government put in place, the efficiency of that policy can only be felt if the citizenry are also on top of their game. And what do I mean by this? The call for the ban on Okada today came majorly from the people living in Lagos who have seen the threats posed to life and property by you know, Okada. You also have uh, the latest incident that happened in Lekki where we were told that um, a sound engineer was killed by Okada riders because of a, a scuffle over 100 naira or so. But be that as it may, the threat posed to the security of life, of life and property in Lagos by Okada riders, as well as the threat to even their, their own lives is something no responsible government should just gloss over or decide to turn a blind eye.